Hey there guys, how's it going? Time to talk about Leprechaun, even though St. Patrick's Day was... <sighs> it was a while ago, but I want to do this anyway. You know, I was discouraged for a little bit. I was trying to do a big video, just review all of them in one video. But by the time I got down to editing it, it just, it was a little underwhelming. It wasn't as good as I felt it could have been, and I couldn't even get it uploaded on St. Patrick's Day. So I was like, screw it, I'll just review them individually. So let's start out here with the first one, the classic. The original Leprechaun starring Jennifer Aniston. And yeah, all those words I applied to this pretty much they're lies, except for the fact that this is the original. But uh, maybe I should get some proper lighting. I don't know. It's very atmospheric, you know? Alright, so we're gonna use my Leprechaun magic and we're gonna poof us into a good setting. Leprechaun stars Warwick Davis, Jennifer Aniston, uh, discount Kevin Bacon, a retarded guy, and a child. This movie's about the leprechaun, Warwick Davis. He gets captured by some old Irish kook and trapped in a box by the power of a four-leaf clover on top. Then Jennifer Aniston and her father move into that house after some times pass, end up releasing him. Leprechaun attacks Jennifer Aniston, her dad, fake Kevin Bacon, retarded guy, and kid. Yeah, this movie's low-rent, cheap horror crap, but it's also awesome. One reason, Warwick Davis. He's probably the only thing in this movie that really works. When the leprechaun's on screen, I'm having fun because Warwick Davis owns this role and is awesome. Everything else sucks. The acting, pretty terrible. I mean, Jennifer Aniston, you know, she'd go on to be pretty hot and horrible bosses, and people love her and friends, but in this movie, she's pretty terrible. Everyone else, no one's remarkable, they're all pretty poor. I mean, I kind of like the kid for one line particularly. Fuck you, Lucky Charms. Like, that's it. Because of that line, I give him respect. And this movie, yeah, it's supposed to be a horror movie, right? Hor like, Freddy, they're all... Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers are all popular at this point. This is trying to capture onto that success, right? You'd think. But in reality, this feels more like a Goosebumps movie that got stretched out. Or no. Goosebumps episode. This actually feels more like a Goosebumps episode. It got stretched out way past how long it should be and they threw in like two scenes of gore that felt really out of place to be honest. Because the whole movie, Leprechaun is goofy, silly, funny and he'll scare a child. I showed this movie to some kids and they were scared. Me, not even a little. I was enjoying the horror comedy aspect of just like a dumb, silly movie because Warwick Davis is awesome but aside from that, this movie's crap. The kills are so unmemorable. There's one memorable kill. It's because Leprechaun gets a pogo stick and, you know, the pogo stick of doom. The Leprechaun is pogoing someone to death. You know, he, he grabs a pogo stick and he jumps on the guy and he's pogo sticking him to death. Like, what other movie are you going to see that happen? None. So that's actually a reason to watch this movie. I actually kind of like doing this. I might do it the rest of the review. <laughs> so you got that. That's the only fun part. The rest of it, pretty poor, no memorable murders. No one even really dies, okay? Really. It's like Leprechaun kills a couple anonymous characters and that's it. I mean, you could have killed the retarded guy. You could have killed fake Kevin Bacon, the dad. I mean, the even kill the little kid. I don't care. Just let Jennifer Aniston live because she's Jennifer Aniston and that's probably the only reason they would have. But, you know what, you could have even killed her. Have Leprechaun win, I don't care. But, you know, it just goes on. There's some, like, the funniest part besides the Pogo Stick of Doom was he gets on, like, a trike, and he's riding, and they clearly sped up the footage, like, eight times faster than it should be to try and make it look like he's actually going fast. And the same thing, he's got, like, a little car that he tricks out later, and it's the same thing, just speed up the footage to make it look more intense. And, what, even in the hospital, he's got a wheelchair thing he's riding and they're just fast-forwarding it so much to make it look like he's actually moving. He's like, no, look at him. He's just sitting there going like this. But then they put him in fast-forward. It's so obvious and terrible, but it's funny in a bad way. Yeah, this movie's just not very memorable. It's not very good, you know. As It starts a franchise that, honestly, back in the day, if I was alive and, like, my age now watching it, I'd be like, good God, I hope this doesn't continue because it's not that good. Warwick Davis, respected actor. You know, he was Willow, Wicked the Ewok, stuff like that. But in all honesty, this is his best performance ever that I've seen. Warwick Davis, this is his defining moment. This is the role that I will remember and respect him for. Yeah, I said that. I will respect him for this movie because he commits way more than this movie deserves. He brings everything to this movie. The only good stuff you can say is stuff involving Warwick Davis because he is that awesome and he will be the best part of every movie going forward. I would give Leprechaun a C. Is low rent, pretty much kid horror crap that they just went back and added 
gore too. I actually think that's a fact. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it was a kid's movie that they put gore in to make for adults. Because leprechauns really scare adults. So yeah, I'm going to go through all these movies individually. Starting off here and ending with Leprechaun Origins. I've seen them all at this point, And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting through all these to talk about Leprechaun Origins most. Because I have the most to say about that one more than any other. <sighs> but comment below, tell me you thought of Leprechaun, you know, this horror classic icon. And thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later.